Happy Memorial Day, everybody, and what's good, Internet? My name is Attack Slug. Welcome back to my 2K16, my career. Let's play Ebenezer's Revenge. And yes, it is Monday, and that means the impending return of John Cena on Raw tonight. But today in this video, we're going to fight Kane on Superstars. That sounds like a fun time for all involved, right? I don't know. Use a foreign object. No thanks. I'm gonna fight Kane fair and square. I am a face. Here we go against Corporate Kane, although in... Whoa! Corporate Kane taking a page out, page out of my book and just immediately going for the running move there. Um, I was gonna say, he's just vicious here. Uh, perhaps in 2018 we, we could be saying Mayor Kane. Or, you know, Mayor Glenn, but still. Mayor Kane. That would be weird. I am apparently super kicking the air, whatever. Um, so, it is Monday, and that means Raw is tonight, and that means speculation is a running wild as to what's going to happen in Green Bay. Uh, not Milwaukee, our truth Green Bay. Uh, and one thing I have not discussed on this show, that they have been, whoa, back by drop, they have been teasing on Twitter for a little bit now, is hashtag hatch. So something is going to be debuting tonight on Raw. We don't know what, but they've been teasing it on Twitter with this hatch thing that they're kind of breaking into something or un like something that's been in a in a box for a while and they're going to be unveiling it on Raw tonight. And uh, I honestly have no idea, no idea what that could possibly entail. But, you know, anytime you, you tease something, I'm always going to be curious as to just what the hell. Because nine times out of ten, they hype things up and it ends up not really delivering on what they're hyping up. So, this time, they haven't been hyping it up on TV at all. It's all been on their Twitter account. It's all been social media. So, whether or not it ends up being a big deal, that remains to be seen. Um, certainly, you know, it could be. But, I'm going to wager a guess that it probably won't be. But hey, you never know. It could be something super cool, and then, you know, then I will be happy to be, you know, surprised about it. Woo! Um, anyway, uh, elsewhere on Raw tonight, we have uh, a thing they are apparently not going to save for a pay-per-view pre-show. Because it's going to be Baron Corbin and Dolph Ziggler again. But this time, it's going to be in a technical wrestling match. What the hell does that mean? Can anybody tell me what the hell a technical wrestling match is going to be here on Raw tonight? I'm really curious as to just what the hell. Like, is it only going to be like an, you know, is it going to be like an amateur wrestling match? Is, is, is that going to be the extent here? Is that they're going to be... Doing catch as catch can, rest holds, and that kind of thing. Like, is 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 that going to be the deal? Because that sounds like a good way to kill a crowd. Because I don't know that Baron Corbin, who does not have an amateur wrestling background, much like Dolph, Dolph Ziggler does. He was at uh, Kent State and has an excellent amateur background. Whereas Baron Corbin played football. So... He is not the guy you want to have in that kind of a match. He's not a classically trained wrestler. So, what the hell do they mean by technical wrestling? Um, they're also going to have those damn Dudleys versus Enzo and Cass. And that'll be their first match back as a, as a tag team. And also, we have the finals in the Money in the Bank uh, qualifiers. So, who is the last guy who's going to qualify... Who's in that match to even be qualified is a very important question. Because uh, we don't know. And uh, that, of course, leads to yonder speculation as to just who is going to be the guy. Like, are they going to put the finals... Is the finals... Are the finals going to contain John Cena? Is he going to be in this year's Money in the Bank? Or... 
is he going to squash Rusev and win the U.S. title? Those are kind of your two options um, in terms of what you're going to do with John Cena uh, on Raw tonight during his return with his new t-shirt. Um, Banzai! So it'll be very curious to see which direction they go with that. Cause I don't know that you necessarily want to put John Cena back in the main event so soon for the world title. Like, is that really what you want to do? Seriously? I feel like those are kind of your two most obvious paths to take with John Cena is that either you put him in Money in the Bank or you immediately have him squash Rusev and win back the U.S. title. Either way, that does make for a potentially interesting episode of Raw because there are a number of unknowns and certainly wrestling fans like to be surprised uh, by the unknowns. Just, you know, it all comes down to the follow-through. Can you follow through on what you're actually uh, trying to do? As much as, you know, people really did enjoy the phase of Cena's career doing the U.S. Open Challenge, is doing an immediate rehash of that storyline, would that be, you know, what people actually want to see? Or will the internet immediately kind of crap all over it because they did so much of that? Or, conversely... Where people actually want to see it because of the amount of guys who've been called up recently could make for a bunch of fresh matchups that Cena hasn't had yet. Uh, and if Cena actually gives a shit about, you know, this particular angle, um, here we go. On the apron! The hardest part of the ring. Um, would people, you know, be excited for Cena having to have matches, you know, with a bunch of guys he has not had matches with. Like, obviously, he'd win because he's, you know, John Cena. But would that be compelling television? Um, I don't know. There's a lot of questions there. Uh, but certainly they could immediately put him in Money in the Bank, have him win Money in the Bank, because, you know, obviously, he, if, he, if he's, if he's going to be in the match and take those bumps, I don't see him not winning it. Um, missed. Um, certainly there are more questions than answers. Uh, and we'll see just, like, how that takes place. Honestly, the missed, the more interesting question, I think, is going to be, depending on who wins Money in the Bank, are you only having one Money in the Bank matchup? Because if you're doing a brand split, are you gonna have two titles? Like these are these are all these are these are all the questions that like nobody fucking knows because they haven't told us yet. Um. Oh, he caught me. Uh. That's kind of you know. Are we gonna go back to having two different Money in the Bank winners because they're gonna be two different titles? Or is it just going to be one winner, and they're going to be on the show? Like, what if the guy who wins Money in the Bank is on... He gets drafted on a, on a different show than the champion. And he, what if you only have the world champion on one show? Like, there's a lot of questions here. We don't really have a good, you know, case of what the fuck the answer is going to be yet. And that... There is definitely a lot of leeway for them to totally botch uh, whatever it is the hell... That they're gonna do. So, yeah. I don't know. Let's fight Batista here. Let us fight the Manimal, as Santino called him. Although, I should mention, uh, speaking of Santino, uh, we didn't get that second round of uh, layoffs. Like, there was that rumor that the Friday after Extreme Rules, which was this past Friday, was gonna have a bunch of, of more roster cuts. That didn't happen, so that's cool. Like, you would hope with a brand split, you know, more guys are going to hang hang around and hopefully get, get utilized. I, I wouldn't count on it, but that's kind of, you know, the idea there is to properly utilize more talent. What does it take to put him away? I'm going to keep spitting in his face. That's what it takes. Or no, I guess we're going to do this instead. Neck breaker. 
I want to say it was right was the spit in your face. Big old lariat. And pen him with a rope break. Eat it, Batista. Oh, now, now, now I get a neck breaker. Now it is me who has his neck broke. I don't know. Why would you do that, Batista? Why would you consider doing that? That's not cool. Trying to tear off my headphones. I do not. Missed. And a big old sit out. Power bomb. Counter ref. I got no stamina left. That rhymed. Wins with power on Batista. How about that? That was a three star match because all I did was spit and mist in his face. That's pretty good. I dig it. Anyhow, that wraps it up for today. We beat Batista and Kane as we continue our path toward the U.S. title and big match. John, the face who runs the place, etc., etc as he will be, due to not Pentagon Jr. again, return on Monday Night Raw this very evening. Our ranking is 6. We're getting there. We're getting there. Authority go for tomorrow is uh, lose to Pentagon Jr. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Anyway, that's it. I'm a tax Thanks for watching. More videos every day, and I will see you next time right here on this channel. And I'm out!